at Money 2020, there is an enormous amount of interesting companies to deal with. I'm talking now to uh, Antonio Vizzi from BIT, and it's about mobile identity. How do you make the whole process of identifying yourself easier for all kinds of different uh, companies? Um, Antonio, mobile identity is on the rise, right? I mean, mobile, uh, mobile, the mobile apps for everything is really important. And uh, what, what, does, what part of the puzzle does your company solve? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me here, Vincent. Um, so mobile identity is key because the mobile device is becoming the enabler for a lot of dif di different digital operations. And in banking, it becomes the first point of access for yeah. online banking and so on and so forth. What we do is we transform the mobile device into the secure token that allows the user to identify himself online and then authenticate, authorize transaction, digitally sign documents with full legal validity and so on and so forth. Okay, let's first take a look of that because without a demo you have no idea. Hey, let's see a scenario. I am here at my favorite bank and basically I type in my username and how do I then identify myself? So I have my mobile banking app on my device. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that I can do is I can go to my online banking site. I say, I enter my username and I say, I want to log in. Yeah. What and happens? Then and then it immediately pops up confirm login. Yep. Please authorize login in your Bit Bank app. Okay, so here is what the bank app. Is that I receive a push notification on my device? Well, let's see that. Let's confirm identification. Yeah. When I click on the, on the notification, I can see where the notification originated from. Uh -huh. And when I say login, I use yeah. a combination of biometrics, for instance, like yeah. Face ID on my phone. Yeah. But what, what happened is under yeah, you the took a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Our technology underneath the biometrics digitally sign the authentication, which is a, a cryptographic operation that our platform verifies. Yeah. And so with extreme simplicity, you have multi-factor authentication to log into your bank account. Okay. So now I'm into my bank account. I can see my uh, saldo. And then if, the, if I want to do the digital signature, how do I do that? So I'm inside my bank account and I see there are a couple of documents that my bank wants me to sign. In this case, is a Morga application. Yeah. I can select the document, click sign, and again, I receive a push notification on my device. Yeah. That says new document to sign. In this, this in this case is a PDF document, so I can read the document in my mobile app. I can read it in my desktop. But then, when I click sign again, I do a Face ID to yeah. unlock access to the private key on the device. Yeah and that signs the document, and the bank receives all the legal evidences of the signature, the original document, the signed document instantly. Aha, that is easy. Okay, please, Dutch bank, make it so easy to sign something. I mean, we're in Holland, we, we have, you can log in with your finger, but then if you want to sign something, you know, just you need to do paper, or sometimes you need to calculate it, but this is a much easier way. If I want to, as a, if I, as an, uh, as a supplier of services, want to use this kind of identification, what are the parts I need to implement? So the platform is a composed by a microservice architecture that goes either on the cloud, on premise, or part on cloud, part on premise, and then we have mobile SDKs for iOS, Android, and Xamarin that the banks will integrate either into a standalone application or inside the, the normal banking mobile yeah. banking platform. Weeks or months? For a for the platform side integration, yeah. we've done it with banks in two to three weeks. Of course, to build the experience in, in a mobile app, it might take a bit longer depending on... Uh, anything. To put, put anything in an app, I mean, you need to discuss and discuss and discuss and you need to kind of work. Okay. Then, uh, how is this uh, platform supplied as a service? How do, you, how do people, how, do, how does a bank pay for this? So we have a model that is very simple, uh, which is uh, licenses based on number of users, and we sell pre-packaged number of users. So if you're a bank okay. and want to start slow, you can say, okay, I, I, I get a package for up to 20,000 users, 20 to 50,000, 50 to 100, and then you can go up to... And if you see the, if you saw in an extremely complex business environment where security has to be very high to uh, variation of to, to millions of people, what, what is the price per user per year? Well, varies. How does it vary? Well, let's say that it could go for um, two cents, or so ten, twenty cents of a of a dollar for uh, millions of users. And yeah. now, imagine a, a an average bank uh, in yeah. the so two cents. And then on the high end side, if you have small numbers for, if you want to use it for your personnel, you only have a couple of hundred users. 
couple of hundred users, you don't even, it's not even worth integrating a technology like this in a bank, honestly, right? Yeah, yeah but a so thousand users then. If you have, I mean, we, the smallest in implementation we've done in a bank was for a private bank that has 50,000 users, but they start with, fa with five, and it was everything uh, below the 100,000 uh, euros implementation and, uh, and licenses. Okay. Uh, what are your current clients which you have implemented this platform with? So we started in the healthcare and government sector. So our first major client was the city of Barcelona. Uh, and then we moved a couple of years ago into the financial services sector where we believe that there's a much broader need for different use cases across retail banking, business banking. So today we're most, mostly focusing on banks in Europe. Now I have the European uh, uh, ID system, uh, EIDA. I mean, how does that, uh, because I, as a bank, of course, want to be compatible with that. So, first of all, we believe that EIDA is a great step in the right direction in terms of defining a regulation that can uh, uh, provide on interoperability between different systems in, in different countries. You integrate with some system like that? We built our platform to be compliant to the three level of assurance of EIDA. We use digital certificates that are EIDAS qualified, so the signature that we issue are advanced or qualified electronic signature according to EIDAS. We work with a qualified trust service provider, so yes, it, we are ready to be a node into a, a EIDAS infrastructure. Okay, so does that mean that if I, as a, I'm, a, I'm a Dutch bank, or maybe an EMRO, I you imp implement your system, is it then after that, is it EIDA compatible or does it need a separate process for that? It means that we enable banks potentially also to become identity providers. So apart from using identity for the internal use cases, cost reduction, acquiring new users, they can even build new business model proposition on providing identity to citizens, for, ex for example. And also in the business model of identity identification, it is a price per user per year. There's no price. It doesn't matter if you log in 10 times or 100 times or 50,000 times. Well, let's say that this is a, a mere uh, strategic choice. As a, a startup, we favor but i think also in the identification world in general right i mean you do by payment you pay per payment but with identity you basically pay per user per year uh, i would say I, I wouldn't say that that's the rule of thumb i would say that this is our choice our choice is uh cost per user per year it doesn't mean that two years from now we, we will not change to per transaction right okay. We'll see how that works. Uh, hey, and uh, what is the background of your company? Where do you come from? So uh, we were initially created as a corporate spin-off of a larger certification authority in Spain. Uh, so we've been in business of identity for more than 15 years. Yeah. And then four years ago, we spun out the company to build this new mobile proposition. We won the public tender with the city of Barcelona and we went from there. Okay, so you already have hundred, millions of people in Barcelona can potentially use our identification system. You have hundreds of thousands of people who are using it uh, uh, you know, every month. Yes, so Barcelona, we started for, for the, with a project for the city. The city is up to seven million, uh, up to a couple of million people. And then we extended in phase two to all the city councils in Catalonia. They can now join into the Barcelona infrastructure. Wonderful. What's the website? Uh, www.biid.com. Okay, thank you very much. Vincent, thank you very much.